There are a lot of elements that go into putting together an effective grant application to the Ontario Arts Council. Artistic support material is one of the most important. We'd like to offer you some tips and advice. Grant applications for OEC's performing arts programs are typically made up of these components. The application form, the artist statement and project description, the resumes of the individuals involved, the budget, and the artistic support material. Once your application is received, the program officer assembles a jury to review applications and make decisions on who will receive a grant based on the program's criteria. Audiovisual support material can be one of the most important parts of your grant application in dance, theatre, and performance-based multi- and inter-arts. It shows the jury your work as an artist and is a very important element in their assessment of your application. It's important to develop high standards for the audiovisual documentation of your art. Different grant programs require different kinds of artistic support material. Read the program criteria carefully. Submit the required amount of support material and no more. Jurors will not review additional audiovisual support material or script samples that exceed the length required. Submit a strong, cohesive selection of recent work. Select examples that are relevant to the aims of your proposal. It's important not to confuse the jury with a mixed bag of work. Ensure that your audiovisual support material is formatted to the current technical specifications detailed in the application form. Formats can change, so double-check the OAC website. Please test all of your artistic support material thoroughly to make sure it's formatted correctly and runs smoothly. The Ontario Arts Council works in a PC environment, so test your documentation on a PC computer. More information is available on the web page for the program to which you are applying. The type of work you do and what you're trying to convey will determine the artistic support material you choose to include with your application. Check the program guidelines to determine if you need a script, a video, sound or music, or all of the above. Do provide artistic support material that relates to the project for which you are applying. Recent work that demonstrates the range of art and artists who will be contracted to work on your project. Artistic support material that captures movement, design, or other elements you've said are important in your project description. A range of styles of song for projects that involve music. Shots that show audience members engaged in or with the performance if relevant or appropriate. Think about the experience that jurors will have viewing your artistic support material. Describe the location and context of the work you are showing on the support material list provided. If you would like the jury to review a specific portion of the artistic support material provided, please cue the material or provide notes to indicate the portion that should be reviewed on the CD or DVD. Depending on the type of work you do or the program to which you are applying, you may submit still images and audiovisual support material. Order and number any digital files in chronological order beginning with the earliest work. Use the support material list to identify what you're submitting. Here are some important things to consider in order to achieve the best possible quality. Is the lighting appropriate? Is the video or still image focused in high resolution? Is the video formatted or still image sized properly? Is the background distracting? Don't include audition reels, samples of student performances, or promotional videos. Do not show sparse audience shots or shots where audience members look distracted, wide-angle stage shots or long shots taken a great distance from the stage that don't represent the work adequately, shots of the audience taken from the stage with the performer shot from behind, work that is not well lit, dark, blurred images, and public service announcements or news items. What examples of dance work should be included? DVD samples may be recorded in a rehearsal studio. The studio's background should be uncluttered and have adequate studio lighting. Dancers must be clearly visible to demonstrate the choreographer's movement vocabulary. If the work includes sound, music, or voice, it must be clearly audible. What examples of theatre work should be included? 
a script sample, with the exception of Shakespeare or non-script-based work. If you aren't submitting a script, then provide descriptions or audiovisual support material to help the jury understand what you will be developing or presenting. For music theatre projects, provide audio support material in addition to a script. And for movement-based, visually oriented and interdisciplinary work, audiovisual support material can be very useful in helping the jury understand your form and vision. What examples of multi- or inter-arts work should be included? Script samples for multi-arts work with text such as outline, lyrics or manuscript. For non-text-based works, you may submit other types of documentation in lieu of a script such as digital stills, CDs, DVDs, or artistic inspirations or references that support your written proposal. You may provide artistic support material for more than one artist or material that showcases several disciplines for an individual artist. For performance art pieces, high-quality, well-lit video documentation is preferred, edited to show the progression of the piece. A combination of video and still images of past performances may also be submitted. Do not include an artist statement in the video. For interactive kinetic works and installation works, you may include video as well as still images. Following the support material guidelines closely will give you the best possible opportunity to succeed with your grant application. For more information, visit www.arts.on.ca.